Good afternoon, y'all. So, I just got back from a trip um, for like eight days or so. You know, when you leave your garden and you're just like, I can't wait to get back and make sure everything's okay. Sometimes you get back and everything is not okay. So, we had a huge storm while I was gone and these hydrangeas flopped, completely flopped. I mean, they look terrible, right? <laughs> so, I gotta find a solution to this. I think I'm gonna do two things. First, I'm gonna stake these blooms so that for the rest of the season, they can withstand rain, they look good, um, you know, keep them strong and upright. And second, next year, I'm gonna try not cutting my hydrangeas all the way back to the ground. So I've always heard that with panicle hydrangeas, you're supposed to cut them back to the ground and let them grow fresh each year. And I've done that and they look beautiful, yeah. But like when you get a heavy rain, they flop. So next year, I'm actually not gonna cut them back all the way to the ground. I'm gonna test out what it looks like, how strong the stems are, if I just let them continue to like beef up and wood up and get thicker and stronger. And hopefully next year, this doesn't happen. But for this year, since it already happened, I'm gonna go stake those hydrangeas. So I'm working with bamboo sticks. I've got like 16 of them and I'm gonna get more if necessary. And then also just some twist ties. So I'm just gonna stake these up and get them back looking good. Come along. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put a stake in the ground next to the stem that I'm going to stake up. Stakes are a little tall, so I'm going to just use a rubber mallet to pound them down further into the ground. That's better. That way the stake isn't much longer than the stem. up an individual stem and I'm just going to get that twist tie in there around both the plant stem and the bamboo stake and I'm just going to twist it together And the flower is completely staked up. Now I'm just going to do that for the rest of the plant until I run out of stakes. Then I'm going to get some more and do it for the rest of the plant. So this is the finished product. I think it looks pretty good, right? Let's get reminded of what it looked like before. It is definitely better. And, you know, I just really staked as needed. As you can see, I just tied the stem to the stakes wherever it's needed to just keep it upright. Um, I also went ahead and used some of these little green stakes for some shorter staking, but again, just as necessary, tying the stem to the stake with the twist ties. And you can kind of see the stakes, but I figure seeing the stakes is better than having flopping hydrangeas, right? Well, thank you for watching. As you can see, I've been out here a while and I'm sweaty and I'm hot, but the hydrangeas are looking so good, so it was worth it. Um, yeah, so this was step one. Step two next year is gonna be to just let these things grow without cutting them back hard like I usually do and to see how the stems fare. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Gotta carry these guys. I heard you tell you lies. You don't have to say it. I could see it in your eyes that you love.